Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron. Now, this is a figure that I really wasn't going to pick up. Now, I have all the Shattered Glass Autobots. I think they're really cool, but the Decepticons, for some reason, didn't appeal to me. But then I thought, if I've got one faction, I have to have the other. And even though this Megatron is yet another repaint of Siege Megatron, he does at least have some extra kibbly bits to make him a little different. So I figured, what the hell, and picked him up. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Transformers, Shattered Glass, there's Megatron in his white, black, and red deco, which is really different for Megatron. Some great artwork here on the sides there. And on the back, we've got Megatron in robot mode and jet mode. So I'm really curious to see how they're turning this tank into a jet. I have an idea. Side of the box over here, more Megatron artwork. I do love the light inside the fusion cannon right there. Now this Megatron came from Hasbro Pulse, which came with the included comic and they did a lot better packing the comic with Megatron than they did with Blur. This comic is in sealed plastic with a cardboard backing. Now it's a thin cardboard backing but it still beats just flopping around inside the box. So now without further ado let's get this Megatron opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Shattered Glass Megatron all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. And these are in a nice purple, white, and pink. He also comes with his sword tank barrel and his fusion cannon. Now, the new pieces he gets are two translucent blue wings and these are very hollow but they look pretty good i'm not a fan of translucent plastic whatsoever but this is a throwback to his original shattered glass version which i believe was a redeco of energon megatron with the translucent blue wings so got those right there and you've got the shield cockpit and i i like this this looks really good but it's all translucent plastic as well just painted white and black and of course you've got megatron now first things first let's go ahead and give megatron his fusion cannon here and his sword and like i said earlier Shattered Glass Megatron is just another repaint of Siege Megatron. And if my count's correct, this is the fifth repaint of this Siege figure. We've got the regular Siege version, the Netflix Siege version, the 35th anniversary version, the G2 Hero Megatron, which had a different head sculpt, but still the same body, and now this guy. So yes, five repaints of Siege Megatron. 
and that's not counting Earthrise Megatron, which is still the same body style and transformation that was used for the regular version and G2 version. So yeah, this is not a figure that we have not seen before. Now taking a closer look at Shattered Glass Megatron, he does have a brand new color scheme that is really unique for Megatron. We haven't seen a white Megatron, I don't think, since uh, Energon, just like his Shattered Glass uh, predecessor. Now, <clears throat> I really am not a fan of the eyes. He's got blue eyes that really, that you can't see him that well compared to the red eyes from the regular Siege Megatron. I mean, all those had red eyes that really popped. His blue eyes blend too much into the black. The white face looks pretty good. The white for the body itself is more of an off-white than plain bright white. Big red Decepticon insignia right there. He's got yellow on the chest, blue back here on the backpack, red for the biceps. No paint applications whatsoever for the torso console, which is kind of a shame. More yellow down here. On down to the legs, we got some red and silver for the feet. I do like the blue on the fusion cannon and the sword. That looks pretty good. Now articulation, articulation is exactly the same as before with this mold. Now let's take a look at these other little accessories. Accessories, excuse me, I can't talk. We've got these wing pieces right here and there is pegs facing forward if you see those right there so what you're supposed to do is peg those in right here on his back he's got these two holes right there peg those in with the missile tips or maybe that's blasters pointing up so now he's got wings and then you have this front piece which is the cockpit for the spaceship mode it's got a it's actually got three pegs, but you take the center one and just peg it right here into his forearm. So now he has like a bladed shield. And actually, that really, that really doesn't look too bad. I dig it. I wish there was holes right here on the backpack that the wings could peg into to, you know, stick out a little farther like so, but it is what it is. I mean, they're doing what they can to make this Megatron look like a different Megatron. So that's pretty much it for Shattered Glass Megatron in robot mode. Let's go ahead and check him out in his alt modes. And we're gonna start with tank mode first. Though not featured in any of the marketing for this figure, Megatron still retains his tank mode. As I said multiple times, it is the exact same mold with the exact same transformation. Now, Shattered Glass Megatron's tank mode is a little plain. I like the blue. The blue with the red there looks really good, but everything else, it's all molded detail and no real paint applications whatsoever. And just looks really, really bland, especially compared to the regular Siege Megatron. Now, of course, mine has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks, but still, it's just a night and day difference. Of course, I guess one's good, one's evil, but you get what I'm saying, especially here on the front treads where they're all black, everything just blends in way too much. And still, I wish they could do something with those feet. Now, in tank mode, you really can't utilize the other pieces and parts unless you would, say, tag the wings, tab the wings in there on the back treads for maybe some extra added guns. It kind of gives it more of a futuristic tank look, but there's really nowhere to put this unless you just lay it on top. So, there's that. So now... Let's go ahead and transform Megatron into his jet mode. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the sword piece from the front. 
And now we're going to rotate this section around. So now we've got this going on. Now what we're going to do is unpeg the legs. Let's see if I can get it. I can almost transform this figure in my sleep, but of course when you're on camera, that's when everything messes up. Now, of course, this one, some of the transformation joints are a lot tighter than others, so they have fixed some of the issues that you had with Siege Megatron figures in the past. So let's go ahead and get these legs extended. Transformation to jet mode is just half transforming tank mode. So get these legs extended. And get everything locked back in, like so. So now we have this going on. Of course, I popped the front of the tank loose. Now, this is another area that is a little bit more difficult to transform for some reason. I don't know why this front doesn't want to peg in as easy as on my other Siege figures. But there you go. You got the front part of the tank here. You've rotated the turret around. Now you're going to take the legs and rotate these so you've got the toes pointed forward just like this. So you've got that going on. Now you're going to take the front section, the cockpit, and like I showed earlier, you've got the three pegs. You're going to peg the two far end ones into the holes there on the legs, which is going to lock the legs in place. Now you're going to take these wing sections, and these are going to peg in the holes I pegged those into just a while ago. And there you have Megatron in jet mode. And yeah, it, it's a thing. It's, it's different. I don't know whether this is ingenious or just lazy, but it works. It's a jet. You got some parts forming going on. And unfortunately you don't have really anywhere to put the sword gun. I guess you could kind of fold it up and no, there's really nowhere to put that. So there you go. So now we'll compare Megatron's jet mode to the siege Megatron tank. So, yeah, okay. I, re I really don't know what to say regarding this. I mean, it's it's cool. This Megatron's now a triple changer. Let's see, does he have landing gear now? No, no landing gear whatsoever. I mean, all they did was half transform the tank and add these three pieces to turn it into a spaceship. I guess he's got a big cannon right there, giant thruster on the back. So... It's, it's different. There it is. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron with Siege Megatron once again, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, Generation Selects Super Megatron, and War for Cybertron Megatron. Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron is a okay figure. As I said multiple times, it's just another Siege Megatron with three extra pieces that turn him into a spaceship. Now granted, it's kind of neat the way they did that, yet also kind of lazy. I'll be honest, I'm sick of Siege Megatron. I would have loved to seen a Megatron from another line, or maybe a brand new mold, but I understand that the Shattered Glass line is just repaints of existing figures, but come on, enough with the Siege Megatrons. And not to mention for a repaint, he's really lacking in the paint department. A few more extra added details could have really helped this figure out. So there you go guys, Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron. So, does a Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Shattered Glass fan, 
or a Megatron fan, then I would say yes. I mean, you have to have the heroic Megatron to go against the evil Optimus Prime. And if you're a Megatron fan, hey, it's another Megatron. But like I said, I am so sick of this Siege Megatron mold. I mean, counting Earthrise, this is the seventh version of this figure. And he's getting old. Now, one of the things I may do is I like the black helmet on this Megatron, and I may pop the head off of this guy to put it on one of my Siege versions to make a more G1 Marvel Megatron. But I have to double check and see if I have any extra red Toy Hacks Megatron eye decals because those blue eyes just ain't going to cut it. So, yeah, he's all right if you want to complete your Shattered Glass collection. Other than that... It's just another Siege Megatron with kibble. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout-out to all my current channel members. Your help and your support is what helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime. Signing out. Hello!